Or is this, is this full-time MMA now? Uh, I love full-time MMA right now. Back to the Daily Grind and shout out to the full-time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full-time. MMA. Bitch, I'm wired up. Do the stanky leg. All right, I'm not about to do the stanky leg, so let me quit. But I really am wired up, full-time family, and I'll let you know why at the end of the stream. I'm super wired for this video. And it just so happened to be we're talking about Kevin Lee, so why not hit the stanky leg? If you're feeling like it, do, do your damn thing. But I'm about to talk about what Kevin Lee has said in a recent interview as far as the UFC 229 main event between Conor McGregor and Habib Nurmagomedov. Now, with that being said, Kevin Lee has been talked about potentially being a replacement for that fight if one of those guys doesn't make weight if one of those guys gets injured kevin lee would step in and save the day now with that being said as far as who he prefers to fight kevin lee has said that he prefers to fight habib namurgamadov over conor mcgregor now i see that now m the reason my reasoning and your reasoning might be a little different than kevin lee's reasoning which i'm about to get to but, I mean, if you think about some of Kevin Lee's recent fights or just his, his career, we saw him rocked in that Edson Barboza fight. Even though he won it in dominant fashion, looked great, and probably did better against Edson Barboza, some would argue, than Habib because he was actually able to get the finish, even though he did get rocked in the fight. And when he got rocked, you could imagine, if you're somebody that, that can get rocked, what Conor McGregor might just do to you. So, maybe Kevin Lee feels like Habib is a little bit of a better matchup. But, this is his reasoning he gave. He says, I'd rather fight Habib Nurmagomedov, to be honest, just because people see him as just this unstoppable tank, you know? Conor McGregor's already got a couple losses on there, so Conor takes it away from me. To be the one to get rid of that zero, something like that only comes around once in a lifetime, especially with a guy like Habib. So I just see him, I'm aligned myself. When I see that meal, I gotta go for it. So he's saying he wants to be the one to take you know, Habib Zero, that's more intriguing to him than fighting Conor McGregor. Now, I'm going to be the first one to tell you that's a damn lie. I'm going to tell you right now that, you know, that sounds good. That's what I'll say. It sounds good. But Kevin Lee's a guy that likes to dress nice. He, he likes the finer things. So he would not turn down a Conor McGregor $100 million fight just to take Habib Zero for like $5 million. You know what I'm saying? There's no way someone's going to turn down a Conor fight for a Habib fight, especially if you ain't already balling. Maybe if you're rich as fuck already, you ain't even got it. You ain't hungry for that. You ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, reach that goal, get rich like that. But that's what people are really in the game for, the prize fighting. And fighting Conor McGregor is going to bring you the biggest prize. So it sounds good. You know, I hear you. I'm a big fan of Motown Phenom Kevin Lee. And this sounds good. But I ain't buying it. That's all I'm saying. And hey, I might be wrong, but I'm just saying I don't see Motown Phenom turning down that kind of McGregor payday just for the opportunity to take a beep zero. Now, what he did say is somewhat true as far as the, those opportunities don't come around a lot in MMA because this isn't boxing. Guys don't have their fucking record all the way up to 25 and 0 or some shit like that in MMA. It's not it's not as easy to do that in MMA as boxing. So there's a lot less guys with those zeros. But there was recently a guy, not Habib, that was undefeated, and that was Justin Gaethje, who had a very impressive record of 17-0, I believe, when he came to the UFC. He won his first fight first. Michael Johnson, I believe, he moved to 18-0, but then he did lose to Eddie Alvarez. But, I mean, if you ask Eddie Alvarez, would he rather take Justin Gaethje zero or, or any fighter? Would you rather take... Khabib zero or would you rather fight Conor McGregor for 50 million dollars I think 99% of fighters are gonna say or even if they don't say it you know what I'm saying because you know you're being honorable on your you know like GSP you know what I'm saying he's coming back for legacy fights not money fights he's coming back for legacy fights so you know there are guys that definitely are in, uh, interested in building up the legacy and being one of the greatest but every single one of those guys also is interested in making money so um, there's 99% of fighters are gonna take that Conor McGregor pay day over any other fight in the UFC grudge match champ versus champ they want to fight Conor McGregor hell if Brock Lesnar could come back and fight Conor McGregor if they could make that work I'm sure he would love to do that maybe they will make that happen in the mother truck in WWE someday later down the line I'm just saying it's Conor McGregor he's the A side everybody wants a piece of him so with that being said it sounds good Kevin Lee still a big fan and hopefully Kevin Lee will get scheduled also on this same card he said he's training he's making weight either way somebody's getting their ass whooped out, um, at UFC 229 so Motown Phenom's looking to fight for sure on that card we'll see if he gets booked again 
against an opponent or if he's just in like a substitute role you know what i'm saying a replacement role for if anything happens to the main event but speaking of undefeated fighters there's also another undefeated fighter fighting on ufc 229 and if you're a fan of the channel you might be familiar with him but if not we're talking about Sugar Sean O'Malley, the second main event of UFC 229. We got McGregor versus Khabib ending the show. That's the main event. But we've also got the second main event, which is open in the show. O'Malley versus Kinones. Sean O'Malley's returning. I mean, we're going to be welcoming a lot more people to the Sugar Show after UFC 229. I can't wait. It's going to be a great night of fights. And speaking of Sean O'Malley, we're going to have him actually on the show live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Can't wait. He's been on the show before. We've never did it live. We've just, you know what I'm saying? We're new to the to the whole game. So back when we first interviewed him, we didn't even have the capabilities to do a live interview. But we've been growing. We've been grinding. And it is what it is, man, where he's coming back through. So that's super dope. Make sure you're here tonight at um, 8 p.m. Eastern. And to the full-time family, check it out, man. Y'all know I've been working. I've been working. Check this out. Um, I wasn't able to put out as many videos today like I, I would have wanted to because I had a funeral this morning, but I was able to do this. Check me out. Where's this full screen? Take it off and now check it out. We got the boom. O'Malley, that's where we're going to have it. The live interview. We got the motherfucking welcome to the sugar show. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to be right there. That's actually going to be Sean O'Malley. I'm going to move that a little over to the left. But you can also see that live countdown to McGregor versus Khabib and O'Malley versus Quinones. We got some of the viral gifts of O'Malley before he got in the UFC. Some of his knockouts, crazy spinning shit, ninja shit. Oh my God, there's something I'm going to show to you guys and Sean O'Malley all live tonight on the stream. Um, it's it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? The similarities. And it's, I'm just going to tell you, spoiler alert for those of you that are coming tonight. The similarities between, okay, I'm going to take this off. Check this out. I want to bring this up tonight. I'm going to show Sean O'Malley live because I don't even know if he saw this yet. But look, the similarities between O'Malley and McGregor. Look at this gift, bro. Chest spinning kick. Boom. Watch. O'Malley, McGregor. O'Malley, McGregor. O'Malley, McGregor. O'Malley, McGregor. O'Malley, McGregor. O'Malley McGregor. Are you kidding me? You see that shit? That's crazy. And I know Sean O'Malley has said that he was, you know, not all the way just purely Conor McGregor, but when he sees some dope shit from anybody, he tries to learn it and add new shit to his game all the time. So, but you can definitely see. I'm going to ask him if that's stuff he picked up from Conor McGregor's game specifically, but either way, it's dope that those similarities are there, those striking similarities. And also, he's opening up the show for Conor tonight, or at UFC 229. He's going to be on our show tonight, but that's crazy. So, I, I that can't wait to show him that you guys saw it first but we're gonna go back over that on the stream that's crazy I, I saw that when i was doing some of my research for this interview because i wanted to be prepared it's gonna be dope i am prepared i'm coming prepared i tested out the the skype and everything man so it's gonna be dope so that being said it is what it is let the full-time family know what you think in the comments about kevin lee saying he would rather fight um counter And before we go, shout out to all the full-time MMA white belts that have hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the bell right next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video or some of the time that I upload a new video because YouTube's notification bell is a player hater. But this is one of the hardest working independent MMA channels on YouTube. We provide daily updates, full fight card breakdowns and predictions. We make MMA fighter freestyles and we've already interviewed pro fighters Al Jermaine Sterling, Sean O'Malley, Felony Charles Bennett and Bruce Lush Medio in just a little over a year as an MMA channel. We're one of the fastest growing MMA channels on YouTube. So with that being said, if you're interested in more videos like this, check out the full time MMA dojo over at Patreon.com. One of the things you can see while you're over there are some of the goals of the channel and also more free videos like this, betting advice, and more. 
We just launched the full-time MMA store over on teespring.com and we've got some limited edition gear in order to celebrate that. We've got some day one Fook the Other Side shirts that are only available for a limited time. Also, you got leggings, phone cases, don't be a bagel biter, coffee mugs, and more. With that being said, you can check the links out in the description if you want to check out the full-time MMA dojo or the full-time MMA store on Teespring. I apologize about the long outro, but a closed mouth don't get fed, so respect. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G.